Good day, folks. I'd like to take this special time. It's very a major accomplishment for me, you know, after about, let's say, I've been doing this since my childhood, but really been heavily into it again for about a year now. And um, a year later, let's just say, I'm really happy to say that uh, tonight I was able to confirm that I indeed, you know, not officially, obviously, but from what it's looking like pretty good anyways, that I pass my own version of the one what challenge and however you want to take it I'm really happy because um, you know that's the big one that everybody wants to do and uh, it's a pretty big milestone for me so I'm pretty happy tonight that um, I achieved this and I will share with you following just this description how it's happening so along with the uh, mathematics that chat GPT helped me to figure it out here Good day folks, now I decided to do the controller just for the sake of it on the battery itself without using an isolated battery for it and surprisingly it's not too bad, I measured it and it only takes 40 milliamps for the whole thing that's including the controller and this so the controller is still pulsing the high voltage oscillator at 1% and I'm getting a lot of dumps now, maybe around 6 a second and um, I calculated that would get with the help of Chad GPT and um, the efficiency is still well over 600% so it's hitting that battery pretty good so in other words um, 40 milliamps or so in for give or take 250 ish uh, milliamps back into the battery so um, Yes, it's charging the battery, but it's putting along. Um, it's the equivalent. You got to think about how it would act if you were to charge it with, you know, 12 volts, 250 milliamps. It won't charge in one hour, obviously. So um, one way around that, as some people have been doing, is stacking up on the uh, diode um, rectifiers, the two diodes on one wire here, and putting more cap dumps. So that's a way to go. I just don't have the materials for now to do that but uh, even with this um, now my next step I definitely have to do a 555 because I'm not going to bring that down to at least 25 MA or even better with a 555 I just need to plug in those values for me which is 116 1% if I could get a 555 circuit to do just this I scrap all of that now and the 555 pulses the transistor that's in here to run this thing at 1% so we're going to raise efficiency even higher up and with that with more capacitor dumps it'll be pretty good so so far this is the most simple efficient self battery charging setup I've had so far but like I said with simplicity it's not specifically a high power version but needless to say you know 40 MA in and 200 and some out is still pretty good considering you know all right I hope you enjoy and always open to your comments folks